What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scooter Marina and we're out here back at our local pool. We're going to do a fin efficiency test tonight and I've got a series of fins that we want to test out. Now we tried to shoot this video for you guys last year. I had a good friend of mine out here at the pool and he was recording for me. Unfortunately he had a medical incident we had to stop recording. So we're finally back here to the pool to get this shot for you. Basically what I'm going to do is try each set of fins here and I'm going to do two different kick patterns with the fins to see which one's more efficient. I'm going to try my very best to stay unbiased here because I can already tell you some of these are my favorite, some I can't stand. But I'm not actually after to see which one's the best, but which one's more efficient based off the kick pattern that I use. Now basically I'm wearing a 3 mil wetsuit, I've got my stainless steel backplate wing, just my basically warm water rig here so I'm not really after uh, what's going to be best for doubles, which one's going to be best for side mount. It's going to be just for what I'm wearing. This video would be way too long if I tried to test every system that I wear. So this is what I wear tip or typically on a normal day. This is what I'm going to test in. Fins I'm going to look at are the Mares Avanti Quattros. By far probably some of my favorite fins out there. Great for frog kicking. I use them to teach with. I use them just about every type of diving that I do. The Mares Extremes, I really only use these when I'm spearfishing. I really need to chase down fish. I really like the Extremes for that. The Mares Raptor, split fins. The guys that know me know I hate split fins with a passion. I've never liked these things. However, for the purpose of this test, I'm gonna give them my best effort to see how efficient they are. And I'm gonna kinda of give them the benefit of the doubt, hopefully, during this test. I have the Mauer, or Mars, the Marius Power Plane of Fins. Now, I wear these for public safety diving and I wear them for salvage work. So I really, truly love these fins. They are powerful. However, I'm a little bit worried on the flutter kick part. So we'll see how they perform. I've got a pair of the Marius Wave Full Foot Fins. Now, these are almost a snorkeling based fin. However, I did throw them into the diving category because we actually sell a ton of these to divers who are only going to be diving in the tropics. They're great to travel with, so we're gonna see just how efficient they are. Even with the steel back plate, I've kinda of got my high hopes for these. And I got a pair of free diving fins. Yes, these are free diving fins, they're not scuba diving fins, but there's a lot of divers in the tropics that use them for scuba diving as well. Even me personally, I've used them in the past for scuba diving. So I'm gonna test them as well. Once again, the two kick patterns that I'm gonna do is the flutter kick. The way I'm gonna judge it is by kick patterns. If this is my right leg, as it comes down and goes up, that'll be one. Leg comes down, leg comes up, that'll be two. I'm gonna be swimming the whole length of the pool and we'll see just how efficient they, they, each fin is. And what I'm gonna do is just count that kick, kick cycle, if you will. And then I'm gonna do the exact same test with the same fins and I'm going to frog kick. Now when I frog kick, one thing that I've determined for this test, after the initial kick with the frog kick, instead of cocking my legs back up as I normally would with frog kicking, I'm gonna give these fins the best chance possible. As I perform that kick, I'm gonna actually leave my legs out behind me and not recock them until I feel the momentum stop. So it's not necessarily all about the performance of my kick, but the performance of the fin during the kick and the power that they got and how efficient they are. And that's what I'm actually after. Once I finish this test, we'll take all the results. I'll go back to the classroom, we'll write them up on the board, and I'll show you the results. Now, a couple other things I wanna talk about real quick. Once again, I'm gonna try my best not to be biased here. I can already tell you, these fins here by far are probably my favorite fins I've ever owned in the last 31 years of diving. I love those fins, but I'm gonna give all these other fins as much credit as I can based off their efficiency. You guys know I hate split fins, but I'm not gonna be biased. I'm gonna give them the best effort they can and we'll see if they outperform, then I'll definitely change my mind on them. However, guys, let's get this test done. I'm kind of anxious about it. I've got some high hopes for a couple of these. Others, I don't really have that many high hopes for, but we'll see how it goes. Once we get back to the classroom, I'll kind of give you the results. Well, let's jump in, let's get started, and let's see how good they do.
Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so we're back in the classroom. We got the results. We tallied up all the kick cycles that it took for each kick pattern, and we're going to go over each of these individually, and then I'll kind of give you my personal opinions and personal thoughts on it uh, as far as which fin do I feel is best for any particular kick pattern out there. We're going to start with the Avanti Quattro, and with flutter kickings to swim the length of a 25-yard uh, length pool. It took me 18 kick cycles, which is about common with the Avanti Quattros. They're a very powerful fin. They're a thick fin, but yet they're not very dense, so to speak, as far as weight issues go. It's, a, it's still a pretty light fin, so it's easy enough to kick. Not a lot of leg fatigue, but plenty of power there. The Mares Extreme, which is an extremely light fin and specifically designed for that flutter kick uh, style of kicking, it actually took me 20 kick cycles to get from one end of the pool to the next and that's very shocking because these fins are actually designed for that specific kick pattern. One thing that I determined from this was is the technology that's built in the fin is designed for a very slow and methodical uh, flutter kick, not for a fast paced flutter kick like I was actually doing. So the extremes, if you're going to be using them, the slower you kick, the faster you'll go. The faster you kick, the slower you go. You've got to give that fin time to actually work the way it's designed to work. Looking at the Raptors, which were the split fins, these are probably the ones I hate the most as far as my personal opinion in the matter because I simply hate split fins. I've never been a big fan of them. However, i got to be honest, I'm very impressed with them. They kept up, they had just as much power as the Avanti Quattro as far as flutter kicking goes. It only took me 18 kick cycles to get from one end of the pool to the next, so I'm very impressed with that. Moving on down to the power planas. These are a set of fins that I wear probably two, three days a week doing salvage work and public safety work. Now, one thing about the uh, flutter kick versus the frog kick. With the flutter kick, I was really worried about leg fatigue and it simply wasn't there. I didn't get the leg fatigue that I thought I would with a flutter kick. However, it only took 17 kick cycles to go from one end of the pool to the other. So when they call them power planas, that's exactly what they are. They are an extremely powerful fin. They move a ton of water in the water column. So I'm very, very impressed on the flutter kick. Now I will state this, if you're going to be using heavier gear, doubles, dry suits, and stuff like that, obviously you're going to be the frog kicking, you're not going to be flutter kicking, and if you do switch over to flutter kicking, you are probably going to have quite a bit of leg fatigue, but based off the equipment that I was wearing and the distance that I was going, the power planas so far have one of the best kick cycle um, results out of everything I've used. Now the wave full foots, these were those snorkeling fins that we put on and I did put them into that category because we actually sell quite a few of them to resort divers who just dive two or three times a year off say a cruise ship or something like that and they work great for travel. So the wave full foot fins, even more impressive. 16 kick cycles is all it took me to go from one end of the pool to the next simply by flutter kicking. No, they're not going to give you a lot of power if you got heavier gear, but with the system that I was wearing, I had no issues going from one end to the one end of the pool to the other end of the pool. They do make an open heel version of the wave as well, which I have no doubt would have been just as powerful, but I was very impressed for a slip on fin that they had only a 16 kick cycle return as far as the tests that I did. The last ones were the free diving fins, the Razor Pro series. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've wore free diving fins before, I know exactly what they'll do. But just to show you the difference, it only took 12 kick cycles to go from one end of the pool to the next. And I'm sure that if I really focused on my kick pattern as far as the flutter kick goes, I could have got even less than that. But that was the result that I got from the flutter kicking. A very, very powerful kick, or a very, very powerful fin for flutter kicking. That's you know probably why free divers use it. Jumping over to the frog kick. Let's see what the results for there was. With the Avanti Quattros, it only took 10 kick cycles frog kicking to go from one end of the pool to the next. This is primarily why I use the Avanti Quattros. They're a, a good bulky fin that's not a lot of weight to them, and they're very powerful whether you're flutter kicking or you're frog kicking. That's probably why I choose them over all the rest. The extremes only took 13 kick cycles. I was actually impressed here as well because they don't have a thick sidewall. They're a floppy fin because of the uh, OPV, the optimizing pivoting blade that they've got built in. I'm still pretty impressed with it. it I was able to get some strength frog kicking, but not as much strength as what I actually wanted. Jumping down to the Raptors, which were the split fins, 
You know, once again, guys, I, my mind's starting to change a little bit because they are a powerful fin. Frog kicking, it only took 12 frog kicks. It actually outdid the extremes, or 12 kick cycles, and they outdid the extremes in the water. So I'm actually very impressed with the split fins with the Raptors. The power planus, you know, they're power planers. That's what they're designed for. They give you a lot of power regardless of the kick pattern that you use. And it only took 12 kick cycles. Once again, I use this for salvage work and public safety work, and I'm very impressed with it. Now, jumping back up to the Avanti Quattros, because they're, they wasn't as powerful as the Avanti Quattros, but one thing that I will say is when you frog kick with the power planers, it's more of a more of a precision kick versus a powerful kick at the same time. So when you're doing uh, helicopter turns and things like that, this is where the um, the power plane has really come into play because it's more of a precision kick than just a power kick in general. The way full foot fins, guys, they did just as good as the extremes, uh, not quite as good as the um, Raptors, the split fins, but they did all right. For the gear that I was wearing, I was able to have a very powerful frog kick with them. I'm actually very impressed for a slip on fin just how well they actually did. Uh, now we're gonna jump down to the Razor Pros, which are the free diving fins. By far, they are the most powerful fin, whether it's flutter kick or it's a frog kick. It only took eight kick cycles. That means eight frog kicks to swim a 25 yard or 75 foot, 75 foot length pool. Very, very impressed with the free diving fins. I understand why free divers use them. They are a very, very powerful kick or powerful fin no matter what kick pattern you use. Now, looking at the results, let's talk about the practical application of these fins and maybe this will help you choose which one's gonna be best for you. If we really get close to the results, you'll notice that the Avanti Quattros, the Extremes, the Raptors, the Power Planas, and the Waves, they were really only off by about four kick cycles, give or take. One, you know, they took about 16 kick cycles. The most one took about 20. So that's only four kick cycles, four extra kicks. It's not really that big a deal given the distance that we were swimming. Of course, the Razor Pros knocked them all out of the water. But when we start looking at practical, or practical purposes, if you're going to be traveling, Maybe you want to carry your fins as a carry-on. Maybe you want to put it in your luggage. One thing that you've got to look at is, will it fit in your luggage? How practical is it based off the diving space that you're going to have on a boat? Now, if you're free diving, the Razor Pros, absolutely great. For scuba diving, maybe not so much if you're doing a lot of flights and a lot of travel because you may not have that room. Now, one good thing about the Razor Pros is they break down. You can actually take the blade away from the foot pocket and it will fit into a standard size scuba bag. So it's a, a great feature that's built in. But depending on what type of diving you're doing, if you're gonna be diving with doubles, side mounts, stuff like that, if you do salvage work, public safety work like me, then bar none, I probably would stay away from the free diving fins if that's the type of diving you're gonna be doing. As far as the wave uh, full foot fins, I was impressed, guys. They were very powerful. I was very impressed with it. However, if you're, if you're in that area where you're going to have to have boots on land to protect your feet, then the full foot fins, <clears throat> by all means, are probably not going to be your best option. The Power Planas, the Raptors, the Extremes, and the Quattros, they're pretty close together. They're only about three kick cycles apart based off my test. So it's really going to be personal preference. What is it you're wanting? If you're wanting a longer fin, you don't need that short little jet style fin like the Power Plane is, then look at either the Raptor Extremes or the Avanti Quattros. Based off your personal handicap, meaning do you have any physical defect that's going to stop you from kicking one way or the other, then that's where you want to start looking at maybe a lighter base fin. Based off this test alone, where the extremes actually did the worst and the Razor Pros did the best, I'm still going to give it to the Avanti Quattros based off bias alone. They're probably the all around most practical fin for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, they are the most practical fin for that. Now, if we look at the frog kick real quick, based off the results, we're going to look at, say, the Razor Pro once again is the most powerful for the frog kick. And we're going to look at the extremes or the wave full foot as the least powerful as far as frog kick. Jumping into a practicality standpoint, I'm still going to give it to the Avanti Quattros just because that's what I'm used to. It's what I like to use. Uh, I was very impressed with the rest of them. However, I'm looking at it from a practical standpoint. I want something that's very durable, that's going to give me plenty of power, and it's going to be easy to travel with or stow away. I still give it to the Avanti Quattro. Now, guys, all this being said, 
this is me. This is not you. I encourage you to get out here, try these fins. Do I own all these fins? Yes, I own the Avanti Quattros. Yes, I own the Extremes. No, I do not own the Raptors. Yes, I own the Power Planas. Yes, I own the Way Full Foot. No, I do not own the Razor Pros. The ones you've seen here in this video belong to one of my dive masters. So yes, I own multiple sets of fins and that's okay. It depends on what I'm doing. As far as the power planes go, or I'm sorry, the wave full foots, what I use them for, maybe I'm cleaning a pool, I'm checking for a leak in a pool, something like that. That's what I use them for. The power planes, I use two, three days a week for salvage work, uh, public safety work, underwater criminal investigations. That's what I use them for. The, uh, the extremes, I usually travel with them just because they're so light. I can put them on an airplane. They don't hardly weigh anything. They do work good in tropics. If you know how to kick, you slow that kick pattern down. They do work great. So that's what I use them for is for traveling. The, of course, the Avanti Quattros is I use for anything and everything. They're my go-to fin. If I need something, I grab it off the wall. That's what I use is the Avanti Quattro. But guys, your miles may vary based off how you kick, based off how powerful your legs are, based off what type of diving you do. I encourage you to get out there, try these fins for yourself, see what works for you, and then of course, that's what you're gonna be using. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions or any suggestions, please put it down in the comment section below. I've got review videos on each of these fins. You can go back and watch those. Just simply type in here on YouTube, Lake Hickory Scuba, and then type in the fin, it'll come up. I'll try to link each one down below for you as well, and that way it's very easy for you just to click on it and watch the review videos on it. But guys, once again, if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button and definitely share it as well. As always, guys, we really appreciate Appreciate you watching our videos they support us and by you supporting us we can produce the content that you want to see here in the future but as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.